if you're a Cowboys fan, you you probably understand like 1996, last time we won a championship. Okay, there's been a lot of reasons, a lot of reason, a lot of excuses that we have used. Okay, but there's only there's only two problems that I see. There's only two problems that I see every single year. I wasn't even alive in 1996. I'm not going to lie. Only thing I know about 96 is that Pac died. Like, I'm going to be completely honest with you. But what I do know is there are two problems that we have faced since 1996. Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones. Father and son. The worst father and son duo in the NFL right now. They're running the game. They're the, like, if there was an award for MVP of the worst father-son duo, they're winning it. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know how you can watch every year and not blame them. They make terrible decisions after terrible decisions. One, it's like, they're so conservative, they're so... They're so stuck in their ways that nothing nothing stops them. Like, nothing can stop them. They're so... I don't know. It's like, and what's crazy is that there is outside influences that th this is no way there's nobody inside that front office that doesn't try to step in and be like, I don't think we should do it this way. I think we should go with such and such. I think we should do this. There's no way nobody does that. Like, there's no way somebody has to be talking to them. Unless they just have, they must have a bunch of yes men just around the office. Like, in every meeting, someone would just be like, yeah, you're right. You're right, Jerry. You're right, Jerry. Because nobody with a human brain, nobody with a regular human brain or common sense will be making these decisions that they make every single year. Somehow, we are the same team every year. Somehow. And I'm not complaining on the winning teams. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining on the winning teams. I would rather be winning than losing. Like, so I be getting shitted on from, I, I be getting trash talk from trash teams. Like, trash team fans. And it's like, bro, your, your team is losing. My team is winning. But at the same time, I'm tired of just being winning. I'm tired of just winning for a regular season and then we don't get nowhere. It, it's just, it's pointless at this point. What's the point of consistently being great and losing when, when we need it most? So, like, I just feel like they're the root of the problem. They're the root. And I feel like I don't know if we'll ever see progress with them in front office. I generally don't know. I generally don't know. And I'm scared. I'm scared for the future. I am really am. For the next two or three years. Because I ain't going to lie. I don't want to die to where I see... I don't want to die, and then in my afterlife, I'm looking down on everybody, and the J the Cowboys have a Super Bowl. I'm trying to live a life where at least one of these years, I can celebrate. And, but I just don't see that happening if Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones are at the helm. And sometimes, I don't think Jerry Jones... I think Jerry Jones, I think he knows football, and I think he loves football. It's Steven Jones that I'm really concerned about. Like, I generally don't think this guy is... I think he's just dumb. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to just put it out there. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't think he knows shit about football. I think, matter of fact, dumb is a harsh word. I take that back, Steven. Steven, don't flag this video. I apologize. I apologize. I don't think you're dumb. Okay? I just think you don't know football. Like, I, I think... I don't know. I got to do some research on you because I'm. I, I generally want to know what you did your whole life. Like I need to understand like your thought process and this stuff. Because when I hear you speak, I just don't hear a football. Don't hear a football person. I don't. And generally, I'm just like, I'm concerned. Like I'm so concerned for you, because. In fact, no, I'm scared for myself because I feel like, I got to deal with. You after Jerry Jones dies because Jerry Jones is like what 110 now. I gotta deal with you after he's gone. I'm scared. I don't know how to deal with that. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know what to feel about that. I don't. I don't know what to feel about that. 
the fact that it's going to be you for the next part of my life is scary. Like you're you're like a you're like an ex that just won't go away. Like you're really you really you're like an ex that won't go away. No matter how no matter how many restraining orders you get, no matter you just won't go away. And I feel like Cowboys fan used to be scared of him. Used to be scared of Stephen Jones. Like, seriously, if you see him in the street, you should be scared of him. Like, because it it really is. It's gonna be bad if he is the president. If he's the owner of this team. If Jerry Jones leaves him as the owner of the team, those those sleepless nights. Those, Them sleepless nights, like I watch like the pain, the pain. I can just like I can feel the pain, and I haven't even lived it yet. Like I just know I'm gonna be so stressed out. I know I'm gonna be so stressed out. Like I'm just hoping Jerry Jones. I think there's like there's a slight possibility that Jerry Jones on his deathbed, like yo, there's no way I leave this team to my son. I'm hoping like. Let somebody from the outside that you trust, like, I don't know. Just let somebody be the old. Let somebody else be the owner. Just don't let your son be the owner. I'll take Adam Gates as the owner. <laughs> I mean, I take that back. No, nah, if Adam Gates was the owner, I would really, like, yeah, that's over. No. I wouldn't be a fan no more. Just don't, just don't give your son. I Like, I'm sorry. He just does not know football. He doesn't. He he just he's he's one of those he one of those people that just say shit just to say shit like just to say it just to say it. He don't think. I don't think that he I don't think he knows who are the dogs. I don't think he can tell a dog. I don't think he can sh show. I don't think he can like spot a dog if even if it was like a freaking right in front of him. It could be a big ass pit bull. I still don't think he can point out a dog like. I don't think he could point out a dog. I don't. I don't think I don't I don't think he knows what is great for the team. I don't think he knows I think he knows what's bad for the team. Like, I think if there was a competition for how to fuck up the Cowboys more, he he knows how to do it. Like, I think he would be an expert. But I don't think he knows what's good for the team. I don't I don't think he knows. Cause it's, oh my gosh, bro. I I can't I can't watch another year with him in the press conferences. Please stop giving him stop giving him the mic. Stop giving Stephen Jones the mic in the press conference. I don't want to hear this man no more. I don't. I don't want to hear his mouth no more. I'd rather listen to Jerry Jones on that bum ass podcast. <laughs> like, yo, like, I feel, nah, hold on. Let me let me stop shitting on Stephen Jones for a second. Like. Jerry Jones, you are like, I don't know. It's like you move like a teenager. Like, <laughs> like you are older than than anything that I ever own. Like, you are just, but you move like a teenager. Like, you're a gossiper. I've never met. I never met a ninety year old gossiper. Like, oh my gosh, is this like this? This team is a real life. This team is a reality show. It, it really is. And Jerry Jones, you are the face of that reality show. Constantly, you just say shit just to say shit. You, 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 you're you, quick to shit on players. You're, like, there's no way them dudes in the locker room fuck with you every every week. There's no way. Like, I know. And, like, don't get me wrong. He has... As a matter of fact, let me take that back. Jerry Jones does get the respect that he deserves, okay, from what he did in the past. Like, I think he's a very well-respected man for what he did in the past. I just don't believe that. I think he just does. I think he just does way too much. And it just don't lead to winning. And once you don't, once you do too much and you don't win, people just, like, with, we don't want to see it. Like, we want to see winning behind all this shit. If, like, if you were doing that podcast every week and you were winning, nobody would be, like... I don't think we would care that you have a podcast, but it's the fact that we're getting cooked 
And then you go in that podcast and be like, yeah, man, running game's not working. Such and such is not doing good. Like, we just got to do better. That got to do better. CD got to do better. Like, bro, what are we talking about here, bro? Like, you should be in... You should be in your house, your billion dollar house, chilling. But instead you're making decisions for one of the, the the most famous franchise right now in football. And I'm not saying you don't know football. I'm just saying I think you're stuck back in the nineties. I think you're stuck back then and I don't think that you understand the, the future of this team. I think Jerry Jones can spot a dog. Like, that's a compliment I can get him. I think Jerry Jones knows what a dog is. I just don't think Jerry Jones is adapting to the new system of the NFL. The NFL is getting faster. The NFL is getting more creative. The NFL is doing stuff like that. I think Jerry Jones is the old school guy. And the old school guys, they work fundamentally. And they're going to always be winners. But old school guys don't necessarily get to the Super Bowl. They don't. Because the talent, the speed, the everything else, just when it's at when it's in front of you, it's extremely hard to stop. Like it's extremely hard to stop. 